Good morning. Today is a bit of a um, do it very quickly day in terms of get my butt in gear. Um, I'm just sorting the house out because I'm actually flying back to England. Um, I really like my hair today. Um, I've been moaning, sorry, in so many of my videos about my um, dry hair. It smells of coconut right now. I've used a, where is it? Sorry, my house is a bit chaotic. I've used coconut milk. Um, this is wicked. I always put like actual coconut, um, I was gonna say oil on, you know, like the coconut stuff that you buy hard. And then this one is by Herbal Essences. Basically, it's like, kind of reminds me of the coconut stuff that I used. It's like a really thick, lovely coconut milk mask. And it's worked. I am just um, sorting bits out. And before I go, um, I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing there. But I thought I would do a bit of a haul um, for you guys because, I'm um, sorry, I'm in like pants and a shirt. I'm half dressed um, and almost ready. Um, but I uploaded um, a video and I was in a leopard um, dress and I said to you guys would you like to see a haul because when my mum came over we hit the shops in Jersey and I actually didn't know where to go shopping in Jersey because I've never really been shopping here so I found this amazing department store um, called De Grouchy's, um, which has got loads of different brands in from like Coast and Oasis um, and then I've got loads of new bits from Crew clothing I don't think I've ever had anything from Crew before and it's very like sailory, islandy, like casual, lovely stuff. So I thought it'd be really nice to just do a quick try on um, of what I got and then I'll explain where I'm going and why I'm going home and what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> dreams tonight oh, oh, oh so give me so give me your all i'll take it i'll take it to mars oh i'll stick like glue inside your mind just watch me break in your sweet you're falling into me touch me i swear you would do anything that i want so keep us awake till the dawn Watch me break in Um, just after lunch which is perfect it gives me a bit more time 
Um, oh my gosh, it's so hot. 22 degrees, beautiful sunshine. I do not want to go home. Um, the forecast for England is so bad this week. Um, so that's slightly depressing that I'm leaving when it's just such a beautiful, gorgeous um, day. Anyway, this is the first kind of proper trip back that I have done. Um, I'm heading back home to Nottingham, which is where I lived before um, I moved out here to my little island. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be quite a big trip in terms of, um, well, it's gonna be a massive trip. I'm only there for two nights, so lengthwise it's not very long but I'm basically going back to move a house. And I made a decision a while back, um, probably about a month into being in Jersey, that I was going to sell the house that I lived in when um, it was a couple of years ago. You'll probably remember it was like the bigger house that I had um, and I did a lot of room tours and I did it all up and Holly and I lived there and then obviously afterwards, um, you know, I was there and there are kind of two reasons why I wanted to sell it. Um, the first reason being, I think sometimes when you just have a lot of memories of something, it's best to just get that gone out of your life. And for me, that was, you know, that house sort of had a little bit more memories perhaps than other houses that I've lived in. Um, but second of all, um, and I've done a video about this, about renting houses out. So if you haven't seen that, I've talked a lot about how I turned um, some of my houses into buy to lets and how I read them out and what I do and how I got into that and doing kind of um, property stuff and house stuff. Um, and hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I know a lot of you guys said you did. Um, so I wanted to share another piece of advice um, with you, which is also related to why I decided to sell it. Um, and one of the things that I have learned when renting houses out, one of the biggest things I've learned is that the bigger the house, um, the less kind of yield that you get for the value of it, which if this makes sense, it means that the price you pay compared to the rent that you get every year, you work it out as a percentage. And I try and work on like 7%, which is a really, really good yield. So you add up how much rent you get per year, um, and then you divide it by um, the um, value of the house. And that, that's, there are some really easy ways to do it, basically, that teach you how to do this. So if you're looking for a buy to let, it's a really clever thing to do to see, okay, how much rent am I gonna get compared to the value of the house? And one thing that I've found is that bigger houses and more expensive ones, the yields are less. So the best thing to do is to buy smaller houses, maybe like a two up, two down, um, I have totally just driven the wrong way. I've just driven to the beach because I'm so used to doing this road. Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. Luckily, Jersey is not far. So yeah, the yield on that house is not good. Um, it's a four bedroom, it's beautiful, but you're very limited to the number of people that are gonna want to rent a fairly big four bed house. Most people are gonna look for something a bit smaller, a bit cheaper, um, and financially it's not a good business decision for me, and it would be better to sell it and then turn it into two smaller buy to lets. And the other thing that I found as well is that they're just easier to manage as well in terms of, you know, they're smaller, so there's less that will go wrong on them. When you've got a bigger house, more seems to just go wrong. And it's much easier to find tenants as well for um, smaller places. And I think that's because, again, there aren't a lot of people looking for a big house, so you're limiting yourself. So that was one of the ones that I had that was um, bigger and it's just not working. There are actual a cockerel and a chicken in the road. Oh my God, this is so funny. I'm going to stop and film them. Where are you going? Okay, I have a plane to catch kids. I don't really like to change any of the other ones because you have to pay stamp duty every time you buy a house. Um, so obviously when I'm buying them, because I'm a second homeowner, you pay a lot more stamp duty than if you just have one home. Um, so I don't buy and sell them for that reason because you're paying so much more as a second homeowner. So yeah, I'm heading home to do that. My mum and my sister are gonna be meeting me from the airport. I haven't seen Holly since May, so I'm gonna be so excited to see her. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna th take you guys with me. It'll be quite weird to go back to the house actually um so i thought i'd show you inside we'll pack up the house and um yeah go home for a little bit packing um i'm really not taking a lot i'm literally just going hand luggage only um which makes it so quick so i don't need much at all because i'm literally there for two nights so 
got my um literally just a couple of clothes earplugs eye mask and then um, my minis i've collected so many minis um which i figured will be handy like popping back and forward between england and here so i'm trying to collect them um just so i don't have to take a full package so i've got um this is like a exfoliating toner from clarins um and i think i got that as a freebie in a spa and it's really really lovely you know when your skin just gets like kind of dry and flaky um and then i've been using this as my day and night moisturizer this is the Darfin rose oil cream so again i don't need to pack a day and a night um my Olay mist this is so lovely do you know which, what this reminds me of um cordially do this um like beauty elixir and then Olay just bought this one out which is um yeah Olay mist energizing vitamin c it's so so lovely i like these on flights as well blistex um which is my lip stuff again when i fly my lips get really really dry and that is a really good lip balm if you get cracked lips um especially when you're flying um my neon sleep oil i get quite anxious when i fly so um i always take that with me just to have on like the night after a flight or the night before a flight I've pretty much almost finished that oil it's so beautiful neon do all the candles and stuff so i love that one um and then the last for skincare i've actually got a scar on my face at the moment which i'm a little bit self-conscious about um so i'm trying out the murad invisa scar um to see if it'll get rid of it um it's a recent one and it um yeah i just can't get rid of it it's quite red at the moment so i'm taking that um makeup wise just literally i'll wear nothing so i'm moving house it cosmetics um the cc cream which i really liked and i've used quite a lot of it as you can see it's just a really nice coverage um easy to use my milk mascara this is the one that's got is it cannabis oil in or something it's just so amazing the wand on it is massive i love milk makeup and that's probably my favourite product that they do. The mascara is insane. My Vino hand cream, um, which again, I have to use hand cream on flights because my hands get really dry. So I'm just going to take that with me. And also moving house, I figured my hands are going to be super dry. And this one's a really, really like lovely moisturising, just intense one. So I know that's going to keep my nails quite nice for when I get back. Shampoos and conditioners. These are super cute minis. I've actually got the full size of these ones. This is Living Proof. And these are the restore ones they're really nice they're just like super nourishing but they don't they're not greasy so i find that quite hard to find a shampoo and conditioner that's like actually does something but isn't that heavy i've got their dry shampoo as well which is really good but these are their little travel minis which are so useful for a shampoo and conditioner and then my deodorant to which uh, i'm really sorry to say i did not get on with the last aluminium free one the update and search continues this is my favorite sure it's the cream one and i'm just finding that every single aluminium free cream one that i'm using leaves me stinky and i cannot find one so yeah still having to use that one um but i do love it so pretty much all ready to go i've got laptop magazines wallet um yeah here we go in the car reunited yeah so excited <laughs> And that was so close up to my head. I know. Um, we've just we had a job to do, and then we've just spent. We've pretty much we basically just spent like the whole afternoon in the pub. In the pub, having <laughs> lunch and chatting. I always look up because of that screen. It really puts me off. I know. I always do as well. But we're reunited. I know. I literally. I'm gonna. I'm not letting her get back on the plane. Reunited. I'm gonna keep her here. You're staying, sorry Pat. Oh, Mum! Mum, you got your two mama hens. hens. You got your two baby chicks back. Mama <laughs> hens. Oh, you? Yeah. My little hens. Yeah, they're, we're all back together. Mama hen and her little chick. I love how massive my head looked on that. It's like... <laughs> Look at that classic garden. Ooh. What have you got in your hand? <laughs> I don't even know what it is. Oh, sorry, I was making a video. <laughs> I was being David Attenborough. Yeah. Show me David. <laughs> I was doing it on mum. Um, look at like, the state at the, of the garden. Look, it's like in the no film the film the garden. Oh <laughs> it's like God. David Attenborough style. In the Lady Bay, there is uh, this really interesting species that hasn't been around for many years, but can only be found in these surroundings. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Who leaves oh, this? What are you two going to do in the world? <laughs> I want to keep this. What the hell is that? I want to keep what that was. Oh my god, a frozen it. I can't do that one. <laughs> it's leaking. <laughs> I want to play with it. <laughs> oh my god, what is that? <laughs> it's a bubble machine. It looks, it looks so phallic. Yeah. I'm sorry, I can't even cope. Wait, it's a bubble machine. Oh my god. <gasps> Pretty much all packed up. Um, it feels quite weird coming back in here. This is my bedroom. I can't remember whether any of you guys will remember. I had like green and all the shutters and stuff. Um, yeah, and I'm happy. Do you know what, like being here, I didn't quite know how I would feel, to be honest. So this is the first one that I haven't um, rented out, which is really weird. So I guess with the others, it kind of, even though I was leaving, it wasn't as weird because all my stuff was going to be in there, but I've rented them. So like all the work that I've put into them, um, it's still there. But with this, it's like the first one that I've ever said goodbye to the house. So I think that's why I'm feeling a little bit strange. Um, and kind of just letting go of, of one of them. But I know it's going to someone that's gonna make it a home, which is really nice. So I think that's what this house needs. It needs like a loving home. This was my office. This is so strange. I used to have all those like um, little bits up there which had things in. And then the blinds and everything that I did. Oh, I loved this room. So and I had my dressing table and so weird seeing it all again. And then this was Holly's room up here. Oh! So when we first moved in, it was me and Holly, and she was up here. So weird. I love this room because it was really like nice and bright and airy. We had all this storage down here. My lounge. I had that little log burner, and then I had all the shutters. This was probably one of my favourite favourite rooms. Um, and it had like a really old fireplace and really awful sort of curtains so I did all of that and it looks so nice it's just so modern goodbye home goodbye I've put my cap on because it's absolutely torrential rain outside oh, hot. I've done like a final check on every room waking up at mummy's it's so nice actually Reminds me of like being here with her and I love it. Um, so yeah, just having a little cup of tea. We've had some chats. I'm just gonna make some porridge. Um, and then um, just gonna have a really lazy morning, just chilling, walking around the gardens. I think I said this in one of my previous vlogs, um, but I really miss the English countryside. Even though I love Jersey, I do, that's the one of the things that I miss about um, England, just like countryside walks. Um, it's weird the things that you miss, isn't it? I don't really miss much else, apart from obviously family and friends, but it's just like, I don't know, like English countryside is actually really, really beautiful. Looking forward to going back later today. Good morning from the chaos. Um, I'm just unpacking stuff. I ended up... Um, paying for a case to get back um, some of the stuff that I'd got at home. I'd got a case at mum's house so I put a load more stuff in a case and brought that back on the flight with me. So I've got loads more stuff back at home. <sighs> and I'm feeling actually quite calm. It was literally the worst removing day to choose because it was just pouring down with rain. Um, but it's done. And yeah, I feel like I've had a really, really productive few days. I managed to see a couple of people, um, got the house all sorted, and that was just such a big weight off my mind. And I think that now I can focus on moving forward um, and I'm gonna be looking for a few more ones to like buy to replace that. Um, so as I was saying before about everything, this time I'm gonna look for, you know, different maybe postcodes or different, you have to look at all different things which affect like how much rent you'll get compared to the value. Um, so yeah, I'm on the hunt now to try and find a really kind of bargain or a couple of bargain buy to lets, which I've never done before. I've always, as I say, bought a house and turned it into one. Um, so this is the exciting part. Now I get to, um, expand that and then I'll be probably doing a few trips back to the UK. I'm going down to one of the beaches, really exciting, um, 
because we are going to be taking a drone up and doing some shots with a drone, which I have never done before. Um, and one of my friends out here has got one. Um, so we've been really excited to use it and the wind has been, well, the weather's been awful. So finally we've got like sunshine and we're hoping it's not too windy. So we're gonna try and take it up. I've got a few things that I need to film. Um, so we're gonna try and get some shots um, with that as well. And yeah, it will just be really, really cool. So I just just um, put on, I wanted to show you, I bought this in duty free. I watched one of Tati's videos where she did like a high end and a drugstore version. If you don't follow Tati, go on YouTube and follow her, she's amazing. Um, and she did um, this foundation, which is basically the L'Oreal Infallible compared to a high end one. And she was raving about it, said how amazing it was. And so I bought it in the airport. Um, and I really, really like it. It's really, really beautiful to go on. Like you don't need a lot of it. It just feels quite breathable here. Cause I wanted, the reason why I've not really been wearing a lot of foundation is cause I don't want to feel them out here in the heat, but this is lovely. It's like a little bit more than a CC cream, but it just doesn't feel as heavy as a foundation. Um, and I love the coverage. So I'm heading off now to the drone stuff. I can't wait to see the footage. So let's head to the beach. Okay, so I have changed and I'm walking down the beach. The boys are sat on the pier behind with the drone. We're going to try and launch it from there. Um, we're actually in Gory at the moment, which is one of my favourite places. Um, that's them calling me now because I'm going to have them on speaker. Hold on. Hello. Perfect. Real. Let me put you in my handbag and see if you can hear me from there. I'm trying to coordinate from here. Oh, I can hear B <laughs> crying. You're taking off. I can see you. Can you see me? There it is. So we've got this as well, which is so cool. It straps around your head and you can see where the drone is going through the, what's it called? Why are you? <laughs> what's it called? It's called a, a VR headset. Stopped for an ice cream at this place called Rona's and it's right on the beach and they do the most incredible salted caramel sauce. Um, it's Jersey ice cream, but the salted caramel sauce, I literally drive for miles to get this. Oh my gosh, it is hot. I've literally got factor 50 on everywhere. Um, I'm heading into work um, for a few hours. We are going out on a catamaran um, today, taking some people out on the sea. It's always so nice on the sea when it's so hot on the land like here. And I get on the ocean, it's just like a nice breeze. So I am looking forward to that. Um, I always, always, always wear a cap when I'm sailing as well, um, just to help protect my face from the sun as well. So yeah, heading there now. Oh my gosh, I just got back and I got the footage. The boys have sent me um, the first like edit of um, the drone stuff and it looks so amazing. Oh my gosh, this looks so amazing. I've never actually filmed um, like this with a drone before. So I'm so excited because I kind of want to show you guys more of Jersey and I feel like so many of the prettiest things are from the sky. We checked out the 
local like police drone code here because you're only allowed to fly drones in certain areas so if you are using one um, check online um, and it's on the police website where you're allowed to use them because we went over to like the east of the island where the planes um, don't fly in and out oh my gosh it just oh I love it I love it, I love it, I love it. I can't wait to show you guys this stuff. I am absolutely knackered. Um, I've had such a full on few days and I've got quite a full on few weeks happening as well um, with lots of really like exciting, fun things and I'm just feeling really, 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 really good right now and um, yeah, just so glad that um, the trip went well and everything is kind of done now, so yeah onwards and upwards in Jersey and I will see you guys next week.